question, please. Hey Hayden, yeah, I was just uh, just curious from you guys looking at Texas, what do you see out of their defense? What do they like to do, and what do you think they might try to do differently against y'all? Their defense or their offense? I was, I was sorry, wrong, Henry. <laughs> yeah, flip it around. How about their offense? What do you what do you think? Uh, what do you see out of their <laughs> offense, and and what do you like to try? To... Sorry, I walk in late and I'm totally discombobulated. <laughs> You're good. Uh, I think their offense is good. I think they do a really good job uh, creating explosive plays. Uh, they like to push the ball down the field. Obviously, they love the big play. Uh, kind of what that's what give their offense a juice, if you know what I mean. Uh, I, I like what I see from their offensive line. I think they have a pretty athletic group that uh, you know they have a lot of uh, experience. They played in a lot of games, um, and they also have a, a running back who makes a lot of plays for them. I think their quarterback for his first game in college uh, played really well and handled the stress uh, in, a, in a good way. So. Uh, I think all around they have a pretty good unit. Um, we just need to play our game. You, you talk about Card a little bit more. Uh, what 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 you see in his game? <clears throat> well, I thought he did a good job uh, extending plays with his feet. Uh, ULL managed to get you know pressure at times, and he made he made plays, extended plays with his feet. But also, you know, he had plenty of throws down the field that he made and stood in there and made some good throws. So uh, for his first game in college, I mean, he did pretty good. Nate. Yeah, Hayden, just with the targeting, I mean, with the linebackers, you know, you and then Grant and Bumper, just uh, psychologically, what does it do to you all to come into this game? Does it make you a little hesitant or anything? Doesn't slow me down at all. Uh, I'm going to play my game. Um, I know that, you know, Bump went down and I got to step up and, you know, play my game. Uh, it's not going to slow me down any, I promise you that. How was it that last, that first half with, with Grant out and you unable to play? How, how frustrating? Uh, very frustrating. Um, obviously, you're, <clears throat> I'm literally standing there on the sideline helpless when I know I would be in the game helping our team. Uh, so that's very frustrating. But, uh, you know, it is the rule. So I got to sit out and, you know, pay my penalty or whatever. But, um, you know, I went in the second half and I was a little ticked off. So I thought that kind of fueled me a little bit. Okay. Hayden, you know, Bumper has to sit out the first half of this game. Uh, is there anything you can give him, you know, advice-wise as to how to handle, like how to get ready pre-game, whatever, you know, you're going to have to get ready, then have a half, and then not play until the second half? Well, I mean, there's nothing I can tell him that, you know, Coach Shear can't tell him. I mean, he's got to <clears throat> he's got to prepare this week like he's playing in the whole game, just like I did last week. I know he will. Uh, he's a guy that this whole team can count on that when he goes in the game, everyone knows he's going to make a play. Uh, and so, you know, it's it's obviously it sucks. He's got to sit out and mentally I know he'll be locked in um, and ready to play in the second half. Uh, Hayden, what, what does a Texas game mean to the Henry family and, and to you? How, how does this go down for you? Well, it's, it's very important. Uh, my dad uh, and my grandfather who played basketball here, they both played in the Southwest Conference. So this is a game that's not, you know, uh, unfamiliar to uh, my family. Uh, I remember growing up, my dad uh, did not like Texas very much. And uh, that was their big rivalry. They did not like Texas. And so uh, for me, I mean, it's a big game because it means a lot, uh, but every game means a lot. Um, so like I've been and we just we got to go play our game. We got to play tough and physical, and we can do it. Yeah, and, and then when you look at them, um, obviously success in year, recent years, and, and they're joining the SEC in a few years. Is this is this almost feel kind of like you're about to take on a conference opponent in some ways? Yeah, I mean I'll be long gone by then, but I mean pretty soon they're stepping into this conference, so uh, it's just this will be a little taste of what fans will get to see for years and years to come. Uh, we yeah, obviously, yeah, Andrew Parker came in and played well. Talk about some of the depth y'all have there now. And also, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you if you made anybody cry and got a blizzard on Saturday. Um, Andrew played amazing. Honestly, I was so proud of him. Uh, he definitely played his best game so far of college. Uh, he stepped in and played really, really well. Uh, so I'm really proud of him for that. I thought he 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 really flew around, made a lot of plays. Um, as far as Dairy Queen goes, yes, I did go to Dairy Queen. 
you can rewatch the film. I did make somebody cry. I don't know if he was crying. I don't know. I didn't see tears, but he was definitely hurting. He was in pain for sure. Scotty. Yeah, uh, you meant, you know, not being able to play the first half Saturday, you said you were you're ticked off. I guess just before you go in, like how amped up are you, you know, to, to get in the game? And then once you got in, you know, how do you feel like you played? What, what did you do well? Uh, I thought I played well. Uh, I didn't play the best game I've ever played. Uh, as far as just being ticked off, I mean, you, I'm sitting there the whole half, first game of the first game of the year. I'm paying a penalty for uh, a penalty that I'm paying a, a you know a suspension for a, a penalty that I committed ten months ago. So it's a little bit outlandish, but uh, I had to sit out, and so that was a little bit of a pent up aggression, definitely in the second half. Uh, I thought I played good. Didn't play my best game. I thought I tackled well uh, and used my hands good, uh, played physical. But, um, you know, uh, it is what it is. Last thing for me, you got any thoughts on John Ridgway, you know, possibly playing this week? What, what have you seen out of a, a guy like him? Uh, he's an absolute beast, and I'm excited for everyone to get to watch what I've seen him do all of fall camp because he's a monster. And uh, when he's in shoulder pads and a helmet, you're like, how are you human because you look so big and when he's right in front of you and you're in your stance you're like um this guy's taking up both a gaps but uh so yeah with that being said i am excited to play with him uh, i think he's gonna do i think he can be a special player for us uh, and i think he's uh getting healthy and feeling good so uh, yeah hayden um you know you guys had some big sec wins last year but Texas is up, I think, about 15 or 16 in the AP poll coaches. Um, how big a win would this be if you guys could pull it off? Um, it would be a big win, just like every game that we win would be a big game. Uh, so it's definitely important for us to win this game. And you, you had a nice crowd Saturday, obviously a lot more people than could be around last year. But I think this is going to be quite a big, you know, it's sold out. It's going to be a night game. A lot of atmosphere, ESPN, all that. Uh, what are you anticipating from the atmosphere and the crowd and everything? Um, hopefully, I'm anticipating some home field advantage, uh, which is which would be something that I haven't experienced in a while. I would love to have a serious home field advantage and get some loud fans in there that want to, you know, actually help us out and, you know, be extremely loud. I mean, when you're out there on third down and the there's 75,000 people screaming. It's really hard for an offense to, you know, convert and make plays. So uh, I'm really excited to play in front of a huge crowd like that. I hope it can, you know, we can use it to our advantage. One more. You, you mentioned their running back Robinson. I think mean, Bijan. I think is number five. What what specifically impresses you about his game? Well, he's he's really fast. I mean, he makes a lot of he makes a lot of really good plays. Uh, he hits the hole downhill, and he, it's not afraid to run you over. But he's also got a great he got a great you know cut. He can juke you out, make moves. He also lines up at wide receiver and makes plays for him there. So he's a very dynamic player, and uh, we got to make sure that to limit him as much as we can. Thanks. Come back around, Hutch. Hayden, you mentioned how important Texas is to your family and stuff. Uh, what do you remember about that 2014 game that, that Hunter got to play in? Oh, I was there. Uh, I just remember that the Arkansas defense played really well. I don't remember how many rushing yards Texas had, but I think they, I think they really shut them down. Uh, I remember that, and then I remember just, uh, you know, that old Brett Bielema style offense just kind of wearing those guys down. So hoping for the same thing here this weekend. Tom, you got anything else? Yeah. How pent up is Grant going to be to play Saturday? Um, let me tell you something. He is pent up. <laughs> he is ready to play, and he's been practicing like it. So uh, I'm pumped to get to stand by him and go to war with him on Saturday. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Hayden.